always been shifting around on the butt. Uh, double check your gear. Tear it down a little bit because I know you already probably have way too much. <laughs> Alright, if anybody doesn't have any questions, we'll see you in Pasadena. Most of us stop in Jackson and try to get something to eat. The rest of you we'll see you in Pasadena. Poolside probably. Take a left, go all the way until you can't go anymore. You'll be on Beach Boulevard, you make a right, you go all the way until you hit the pier. And we'll still shuttle over to our parking place. What happened to the beach, Adam? What happened to the beach? stalked the Pomodou and caught them passing through the straits, moving slowly and sometimes climbing out on the bank. I had only one chance at a widgeon. A flock flew past rather far out. The others were on the alert and on the south side of the lagoon. All right, let's eat. of elements. Water dives from the clouds without parachute, wings, or safety net. Water runs over the steepest propice and blinks not a lash. Water is buried and rises again. Water walks on fire and fire gets the blisters. Stylishly composed in any situation, solid, gas, or liquid. Speaking in penetrating dialects, understood by all things, animal, vegetable, or mineral. Water travels intrepidly through four dimensions, sustaining, Kick a lettuce in the field, and it will yell, water, destroying. The Dutch boy's finger remembered the view from Erat. And creating. It has even been said that human beings were invented by water as a device for transporting itself from one place to another. But that's another story. Always in motion, ever flowing, whether at steam rate or glacier speed. Rhythmic, dynamic, changing and working its changes, a mathematics turned wrong side out philosophy in reverse. The ongoing odyssey of water is virtually irreversible. Wherever water goes, amoeba go along for the ride. Thank All you. Right. All right, let's eat.
took two years to get enough students interested. First year I couldn't get anybody to sign up. Uh, and, but finally the second, uh, the second year I was, that was 1985, I got uh, nine kids, nine students, and off we went. And uh, expected that, you know, we'd just try this and see what it was like. And, and uh, you know, we were so ill-prepared, it was ridiculous. We had nothing but one of those blue dining flies for shade and it was hot that summer, <laughs> uh, but you know, we managed and uh, I can remember when we were waiting the last day for the boats to come out to get us, the kids, we were looking through their sketchbooks and their drawings and there's, and I hatched then the idea that, well, we should have an exhibition at the school. Yesterday afternoon, walked to a little hole by Outer Beach. Stack. Sudden explosion. Great blue heron from beneath my feet. Pomodou. Dogus widgeon. This morning, spring. Zephyr, damp, growing weather. Something is going to happen. There is a tensity in the atmosphere. The change to spring does not occur without conflict. A conflict is impending. Last night there was a full moon and this morning the sun was, was red at one end of the beach and the white moon was on a balancing at the west end. I was in the middle. It was a very formal arrangement. I might have danced but contented myself with making a note of it. This is one of, from one of his unpublished <coughs> logs. In the, uh, it always kind of gets me because it's the, the conflict is impending this was one of his last entries in uh, 65 when uh, Walt passed away. So uh, it's kind of special. All right, let's eat. All right.